Dr. Ronald Renuart is committed to serving his patients, community, state, and his country. An osteopathic physician, Colonel Ronald Renuart's commitment to his patients is exceptional, not only in the United States, but abroad. His passion for medicine and the military prompted him to join the Florida Army National Guard during his senior year in medical school. In 1992, he received numerous awards for his exceptional professionalism, dedication, and expertise in taking care of over 4,000 patients during the medical recovery efforts on behalf of the victims of Hurricane Andrew. As a colonel in the Florida Army National Guard, he has served in three combat tours in the global war on terrorism. In 2005, he was the senior physician for the combined joint task force, Phoenix, near Kabul, Afghanistan. He is also a dedicated husband to his wife Jacqueline and father to his daughters Jennifer, Scarlett, and son Ronnie. They live in Pointe Vidra Beach, Florida. Colonel Ronald Renuart Dio received his bachelor's degree from the University of Florida in 1986 and his doctor of osteopathic medicine degree from Nova Southeastern University College of Osteopathic Medicine in 1990. He currently serves as second vice president and a trustee for the Florida Osteopathic Medical Association. He is a state delegate to the American Osteopathic Association, and he is the immediate past president of the Nova Southeastern University College of Osteopathic Medicine Alumni Association. From 2004 to 2006, Dr. Renuard served as chief of staff of Baptist Medical Center Beaches. During that time, he was instrumental in convincing the city council of Jacksonville Beach to approve a zoning exception for the hospital that will allow for future growth to meet the needs of beach residents for years to come. He has also served Baptist Medical Center Beaches as chief of medicine for four years. Dr. Ronald Renuart currently serves on the Medicaid Pharmaceutical and Therapeutics Committee appointed by Governor Jeb Bush. Hey, sir, I'd like to present this to you on honor of Osteopathic Medicine Day on behalf of the six osteopathic physicians that were called to service uh, in the Operation Iraqi Freedom uh, for the last year and a half. Uh, this flag was flown over Camp there Virginia. There are six osteopathic surgeons in the Florida National Guard? Uh, there, there's uh, seven of us, six wow. of us went overseas. Wow. And uh, this flag was flown over uh, Camp Virginia in Next Kuwait. Up. The dirt that you see here is actually dirt that's there from the uh, dust storms of Kuwait. There's this flag uh, flew of our treatment center. I'd also like to appreciate uh, your attending our National Guard Officer Association meetings as our Commander-in-Chief also, sir. There. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. In 2006, he received the FOMA Physician of the Year Award at the 103rd FOMA Annual Convention in Fort Lauderdale. I, I appreciate this. Um, you know, my, my thoughts have always been that this is a a strong profession. When I joined this profession um, back in 1986 as a student at CECOM, you know, I knew this is what I wanted to be for the rest of my life. And I felt it important that uh, you know, the osteopathic profession, you know, that we do what we can to keep it going. There are a lot of great things that the U.S. military is doing in these countries overseas. You don't hear it in the media, you know, but just know, you know that, that the, uh, the military is, is working to win over the hearts and minds of these countries and bring a democracy in areas that there never been a democracy before. This year, when the Army called on Dr. Renuart to serve his third tour of duty away from his busy internal medicine practice, he did not hesitate to answer the call. He is currently serving in Iraq and Kuwait as the task force flight surgeon for the 111th Aviation Regiment and is expected to be home in July. Colonel Ronald Renuart committed to serving his patients, community, state, and his country.